So very thankful for these young men and our whole team and just how we approach stuff. Uh, I want to thank Kellis Robinette, who is not here. Uh, we are 2-0 and when he does not come on road games. And so, so thank you, Kellis. Appreciate that tweet. Um, and, uh, man, it's just... This, this league is incredible, and so anytime you can get a win, especially one on the road, you're just super thankful, and you try to figure out how, how to keep getting better going forward. What can a win like this do for this team's confidence to know that it can win away from home? Well, we won at LSU, and there was some pretty tough circumstances going into that one and was able to figure it out. Um, you know, it's I, I know we can win on the road. Tough teams win on the road. Uh, it's just some nights it doesn't matter, right? Like the other team is just better than you or you, things don't work out. So when you're able to get them to work out, it, it's great. And then we go back to the drawing board. For both players, you get shot really well as a team, rebounded really well. Was there something you saw in them that, that allowed you to do that or effort on your part? What was it? Um, you know, we put a big emphasis on it in practice. Uh, you know, that we got a rebound uh, and we got to be a, a good rebounding team. Shooting an offense for you? Um, yeah, first of all, I want to take God for this opportunity. But uh, like Cam said, uh, <clears throat> put a lot of emphasis on it in practice and uh, on film. Uh, we're able to execute tonight. For Dorian, I mean, he's just continuing to build so much more confidence. I mean, how does he keep building off of this? Uh, he just wants us to know. I mean, you know, that he, that he love. I mean, we want him to know, you know, that we love him so, you know, he can play with confidence. And, you know, he going out there and he doing his thing. And, you know, we all happy for him. So you kind of remind you of what Desi was doing early on last year, coming off the bench and providing energy? Yeah, for sure. We need that. Coach, 44 points in the paint tonight. Obviously, West Virginia's dealing with size issues without Jesse Edwards. Is that something that's now been game plan and kind of going in to try and get an emphasis of being inside and getting to the paint? I, I, that's just an emphasis for us as a team, you know, um, when the ball gets to the paint, good things happen. Coach Raekwon had, I think it was 18 points in the first half for WVU, and you all limited him to, I believe, it's just three in the second half. Uh, it's happened a couple of times so far since he came back. Is, is it something that teams are seeing on tape that kind of leads to that second half adjustment against him? No, I, I think his first half explosion, it, it catches you off guard. His athleticism, his quickness, his ability to stop and go straight up in the air, um, that's tough to guard. We fouled, I mean, he shot eight, nine free throws in the first half because we fouled him shooting three-pointers. You don't face a lot of guys who can come off a screen that hard, plant and go straight up in the air. And so uh, second half, we tried to limit our fouls on him, and that, that really, that's what really helped us. How can Jarrell build off of his second half time, Coach? Man, um, it's just about staying ready. You know, staying ready. Will need a breather. Dave got in foul trouble. Uh, Ark was in foul trouble. We had to play a few different lineups that we probably hadn't even thought about. And uh, Jar Jarrell was ready, just very much like Todd was ready the other night. You know, and uh, Dorian was ready. I do disagree with you. Even if Dorian didn't play well tonight, his minutes wasn't going to. Like it, it's just not, I, we, we believe in. We, I believe in all the guys. It's just just only given so many minutes, and it's not based on performances uh, like numbers. It's just what do they provide the team. And so t tonight, Terrell provided us uh, rim protection and, and energy, and, and he was ready, right? And he's another guy who volunteered to be on scout team the last couple couple of times, and uh, and I think that's helped him. You know, just having that mindset of being selfless. for coaching the players. Okay. Thank you, coach. Thanks a lot.